welcome back to my channel. It's me, Azara on Azara's time. Today I am going to be making a paper craft and I must say I enjoyed so much making this and I wanted to share it with you all. We will be making three paper crafts here and in the end we're going to attach these three together to make one big special gift. Normally we make paper crafts when we want to gift someone and I'm telling you that this craft that we're going to be making today is going to be the best gift that you ever gave and you can make this easily with only the things that are available at your house. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. To make this craft, you will be needing three sheets of paper and all three are going to be in different sizes. The first sheet that we're going to be using is a square sheet and each side must be of 30 centimeters. The second sheet is also a square sheet and I've taken 18 centimeters on each side. The final sheet that we're going to be using for this craft is a rectangular sheet and I've taken the length as 24 centimeters and the breadth as 8 centimeters. The other materials that we're going to be using for this craft is some glue, I'm using fevicol, a scissor and a ruler for measurements. For the first craft we're going to be using the 30 by 30 square sheet. For the first step we have to take a corner of the sheet and fold it diagonally to the diagonal opposite corner and must repeat this on the other side as well like this. And now we're going to be doing the same with the other corner as well. After doing this, we would be able to find the shape of an X in the middle. Now for the next step, we're going to fold the paper in half like this. Again we're going to follow the same step but from top to bottom. Now when we open it up again, we find a plus symbol and a multiplication symbol in the middle. After this, we are going to turn the paper around and fold two corners of the square to the middle. After pressing hard on the crease, release it. Now we would find another line here. Like all the other steps, we are going to fold a corner to the middle of this new line and we are going to do the same on the other side as well. Now for the next step, we are going to fold both the triangles inwards. Now for the second time, we are going to fold both of the new folds into the middle again. Now, as we turn the sheet, we can find a straight line in the middle of the sheet. Now, we are going to take the piece of paper which is in front of that line and fold it into a triangle and we are going to do it on both the sides, like this. If you had folded the sheet correct, then it would look like this. 
Now for the next step we are going to fold this whole part to the other side. We can find three triangles present here. Now we are going to fold these three triangles inwards. We can find a crease in the middle here. Now we are going to fold the sheet along the crease. Now let's turn the sheet around and do the same triangular folding technique on this side as well. As you can see here, we have formed the same shape that we did on the other side before. Now we are going to fold the whole part to the other side. Now again we have these three triangles, so we are going to fold these triangles inwards. As you can see here we have another crease in the middle so we are going to fold along the crease like this if you had done all the steps in the right way then your box would open like this we have created the box but we haven't made it into a heart shape so we are going to make the front part of the box into a heart to do this follow these steps Now we have made the heart shape box. For the second craft we are going to be using the 18 by 18 square sheet. With the help of a ruler mark 4.5 cm, 9 cm and 13.5 cm on the paper. After marking the points, draw lines. Now turn your sheet over and mark the points with the same measurements that we took before. Now you would get a grid with 16 boxes in it. To make folding more easier, we are going to mark each and every crease on the sheet. I am doing this with the help of my ruler but you can use any sharp item. Now all the creases are marked and ready to be folded. The next step is to fold all four corners to the middle of the sheet.
Now we have to bring everything together, so follow these steps to do that. When you're done with that, we will move on to the last step, which is folding all these four squares into triangles like so. That is how you make this wonderful card. Now if we pull any two corners, we can open it and see a beautiful design inside. If you want, you can also erase the pencil marks so that it would be neat when you present it. Now for the last craft, I'm using a sheet which is of length 24cm and breadth 8cm. With the help of a ruler, mark points at 8cm and 16cm and then draw lines from the points. Like we did in the previous craft, we are also going to mark the creases here. We can fold this paper in a zigzag way and write messages or stick pictures on these three squares. I have placed the previous two crafts in the first one so that in the end it would look like I have made a big paper craft. That is how you make this beautiful paper craft. To make this look more special, you can add glitter papers like me or you could just stick color papers or stickers or you could even just write something in it so that it would look more decorative. so much for watching today's video i hope you all enjoyed it if you did then tell me what you think about it in the comment section down below to watch more videos like this one subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell so that you can be notified whenever i post a new video please like comment share and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you all in my next video until then goodbye